Hi. Hello. Howdy. What's up, y'all? Tiffany Hello. here. Welcome to my quilting life. If you are new to my channel, head down that way, that way, this way, that way, this way, that way. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. Get notifications when I'm live by pressing that bell, as well as give my videos a thumbs up. And yeah, so we're in the garage, as you can tell by the crack in the ceiling. <laughs> That's how you know where I am. This darn crack in the ceiling. <laughs> And if I move to a different position, there's another crack in the ceiling the other way. Yes, there is. Hi, Suburban. Hi, Kim. So we're in the garage. I have a client's quilt on the frame. I really don't feel like doing this, but I gots to. I gots to get it done. Seriously, I got to get things done. No matter how bad I feel. At least one project a day, you know? No. Um. No, I'll do it on a sit down in the room day. Oh, okay. Hi, Nita. Hi, Ray. Uh, Jessica, Brenda, Colleen, Ellen. Oh, where are we at? Uh, Judy. Hello, everybody. So Lisa. we're on the alarm Hi, Lisa. today. Hi, Lisa. Um, we are going to quilt what looks like a rose with a leaf, but it looks like a flower at the same time. So it's quilted like the flower, but it continues on and makes it look like a rose and i'm going to try to quilt it on the bigger side but i'm not a computer so i can't keep everything exactly the same size and consistency so obviously i just gonna do my thing like always um hi regine uh i said judy i said need i said ray i said ellen everyone's just saying hi okay so well, i am to each other yes yes scott's in here like always he's going to read the comments to me while i'm quilting obviously i don't talk much when i'm out in the long arm quilting i do my best to explain what i am doing though so that you guys can learn how to do this and again everything i do on the long arm can be done on a sit down i have not done this one without de loops so i'm gonna attempt to get around without loop-de-loops usually i do loop-de-loops to get around but this time i'm not going to and this is the client's quilt it's not very big it's like 50 or no i think it's like 61 by 73 or something like that it's not very big and it's only a three color quilt well there's more than three colors but the the three prints three fabrics it's the uh moda grunge dots or whatever it's called it's it's the moda with the dots polka dotty things in it and then it's the regular grunge um and then a big huge flower print uh i forgot what this flower is called but you'll see in two seconds when i turn the camera around and then i'm also going to draw it out on paper because i know some of you say that you don't see what i'm quilting because of the thread color the thread color today that i am using is peach, peach. it's called peach it's glide it's 40 weight and it's i'm not changing the colors it's on the top and in the bobbin and for those that are new to my channel don't know i quilt on a king quilter 2 elite special edition machine and it's a 18 inch machine on a 12 foot frame so i have like plenty of space and i'm barely using any of it right now but this is what i'm gonna do hi Dewana. um anybody else join nope it's all the same all right so here we go i'm gonna turn hey, this around Nevaeh is uh, Ellen tonight. Oh, okay. Nevaeh, yeah. All right. So here we are at the machine. And like I said, I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing prior to doing it with a pencil or a pen and a piece of paper, which is not plain white paper, but it's paper. And I'm just going to give you the general idea. That way you guys know what I'm doing. Normally I wouldn't do this. And don't judge because my quilting does not look like my drawing, like at all. <laughs> <laughs> so and it's also going to be a super sized bigger than what this is so say we're at the edge of the quilt right here right so this is the edge of the quilt i'm going to come in from off the quilt like this and i'm hoping that it catches up with my and i'm gonna stitch until i make a little circle like this then i'm gonna stop and i'm gonna wavy line like this around it and stop facing in like this then while i'm facing in i'm going to come up oops Regina my pen says works it looks like a poppy flower print uh my goodness could i have chose a pen that would stay Do you working want me to get another pen in the house? Do you have one out 
here. I have a pencil out here. We're lucky I have a pencil. So That's I'm going to come up like this and then point it out like that and then come okay, down you know, Sheila. and go around to the next one, which will be just a little loop. And it won't be so close together, like I said. And then I'll just wavy line it around till I get about right here. Then I'll come up, come down, and then from that down spot, creating my little leaf. And there's no there's no vine in the leaf or vein in the leaf, sorry. And then come up, make another one, scoop it around, stop, and then just make a little wavy line. And wherever I decide to stop, I always stop facing the inward curve and then come out, make the leaf, and then come in. When I stop at that point is when I'll go off to my next one. I hope that makes kind of sense to you guys. My drawing is not as good as my quilting. Trust me, I'm not a doodler. I just doodle on the fabric directly 90% of the time. It's a Cosmo flower. Whatever this is, that's what I'm doing. Ray Jean says it looks like a poppy flower print on the, the back. Yeah, and then the this is what the flowers are. They're pretty, whatever they are. Yeah, I think very this bright. one is a hibiscus, honestly. They're very bright. And then obviously you can see the grunge, and then this is grunge. She opposited it, so it's just a three color quilt. She just pretty much cut out blocks and then sashed them. It's uh, she has me quilt her donation quilts too, so. Um, that's what I'm doing. And like always, I am not heavily quilting. I'm this client wants me to Hi, medium quilt. So I'm going to do my best to fill in as much area as possible without being heavy on the quilting. So I'm going to drop my needle down and I'm going to start right up here in the corner so I could try to get a nice little flower up here. As always, I'm stitching in precision mode, 10 stitches per inch. That means when I stop, the needle stops. It don't go up and down. But obviously, these machines are very touchy. So if you barely move it, the needle will move. Alrighty, here we go. Patty says it's really pretty. So I'm going to come up and start my first one right here. So I come in, and then I'm just going to wave around it. Yes, I'm quilting so slow. And then on my in right here, I'm going to stop facing inward. I'm going to come up, make a point, come back to that starting point, and then make my way to another one. Make a little circle, stop in it, and then just start waving the lines around it. Stop inward like this, come up, point it, come back to it, and come down with a little one right here. Like I said, they're not perfect, they're, as long as it's consistent throughout the whole entire quilt. This should fill this whole entire thing really fast. And it's not heavy quilting, it's just light quilting. So while I'm on the end, I come up, make a point, come back down for my leaf, and I'm stopping where I started. I'm right here, make another one. And it doesn't really matter how many times you go around. So I could stop right here and then just put the leaf right here. And then just meander myself around to the next one. And it crosses over its own line. You can make it as wavy or as simple as you want. And your leaves can be with or without the vein in them. But I'm doing these ones without, although on the quilt top itself, the fabric has it in it, but I'm not doing it, so. <laughs> and I'm just going to fill in as much space as I can. And 
I'm not speeding like I normally would. <laughs> Filling in as much space as possible with light quilting. Hey, Gar. Hey, Nancy. Nancy says she's glad to see you working at your kitchen again. I needed to. I noticed that on my um, my way out, I'm kind of wiggling my lines too, other than being just like a straight like swoop to the next one. Sometimes I have to tell my brain where to go and how to go. <laughs> so here's a bigger one. Hi, Kathleen. Like I said, you can stop at a certain area, put your leaf in. So it's just something that a cutter would probably do, but it's free motion. It fills in quick. Like I said, this is my client's donation quilt, so she didn't want it to be super heavy. That's really cool she's donating it. I didn't know that. Yep. That's nice of her. So yes. For those that are curious, people do have their quilts quilted for their donation quilts. Some people just don't like to quilt, they just like to piece. That's okay. And sometimes if I just want to fill in the area, I just meander around. Like I said, this is not a heavy quilting. And if I don't want to come out the top, I can come out the side. Hi, Laura. Laura says hi. Hello. So like this one, I can go around multiple times if I want my leaf to land right there and just continue on to where I have another one right here. And they go different directions each time. Coming into a circle like this, and then I'm just weaving. And it, you kind of, it gets, it's a little hard at first if you've never just waved your long arm, you know? Like, so if I want my leaf to end right here, I'm always facing inward. Put my leaf in. Meander around. I want the next one right Like I said, you can go around them multiple times. I just go around them a few times. Hi, Nina. Nina says hi. So a little circle and then wave my way out. And you can waves can be looser or they can be tighter or however. You want to do it. For those of you that have been here the whole 15 minutes, how's our uh, video looking so far with our internet? We had the guy out working on it again today for the third time. Is it pretty 
clear for everyone. He's died on the tap a couple times now. It's crazy. Hopefully, it picked it right back up. It started again, but it stopped. And this one I'm just going to take off the quilt right there. So there's row one already done. Like I really didn't do much. That's pretty easy. Yeah. For you. Yeah, this is but this it's is beautiful. This is simple, easy, the most easiest one. And like I said, this one is easy to do on a sit down as well. So I'm I must admit this, it. this peach blends in awful good. Yes, it does. With all the colors. Yeah. <laughs> just Put it down. What about this one? Let's bring it down. Okay. Ooh. Disconnect them and let's see you turn it. And then so now I'm it. going to advance the quilt. I think you got a big one right here, I found. Oh, right. I'll get it when I advance. Okay. But only to where I have sections that need to be filled in so that it doesn't look like I'm making rows. I want it to look like I'm filling in everything. So like, see, some of this area needs to be filled in. So I'm gonna pull it up just a little bit higher, but like I'm saying, I don't want it to look like I'm rowing it because I want them to be able to come up to each other. Stop right there. So now all I'm going to do is tack this side down. Really don't actually have to because oh, this... Oh, the back looks pretty. We're going to have to show them the back of it then too. This quilt actually lays really nicely on, the design looks awesome on this on the batting. I am going to, yeah, I'm going to push awesome the, the cotton out and flatten everything real quick, which really doesn't take much. <laughs> yeah. Like at all. But... I just want you guys to see something different. I might be able to have this whole thing done in one video. It depends on how long my phone stays charged. So I'm just basting down the side within my throat space. Laura's trying to watch you as she's cutting and organizing her scraps. And if you guys ever see my finger right here, that is because my button is like literally right next to my finger. Or next to the camera. I, unfortunately, I cannot control that. And everything is nice and straight and brushed out. All my lines are straight. And this one's just one layer of a cotton batting. And the back is a striped fabric. I never asked my client actually if she wanted it to be side to side or up and down, but I, you know, I don't think she cares. <laughs> <laughs> I, honestly, I don't think she cares at all. Come about right here, put my needle down, switch it over to precision again, and continue on. So make my loop. around come out make a point come back for my leaf talking, they're all silent. And I'm gonna stop this right here and notice oh, I clip I'm just gonna me meander my way around so that it's not like Like I said, you can go around them as many times as you want. All I'm doing is wiggling. Some are bigger. And some are smaller, like right here. It'll go off the edge, but that is okay. And then I'm just gonna pull that off the edge and put one right here. Stop. 
pick up that thread because sometimes I don't end up throwing them where I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. So you can see all I'm doing is slowly wiggling, making a leaf, and then continuing on. Hey. How are you doing? So it looks like a rose or some kind of flower. it up really quick. It's pretty, pretty quick to do this. Quick and easy. And some people, that's all it's about. Getting it done when you have tons of quilts to do for family or something and you're just getting tired of it and you need something to quickly throw all over a quilt that doesn't take all day long. This is one of those easy things you can do. second. I like to snip any threads from seams as I'm next to them. That way I don't forget on my way, making my way around these things. Who was talking at all day? What are you guys up to? You guys all tired on your Saturday night? Lisa says her son just called. He's taking a little night sledding. Giggles and laughter is the best medicine ever. I agree, Lisa. Plus, night sledding, I bet it's fun. I did it when I was a little kid. split here. Well, that's because this is the most easiest thing to fill a quilt fast. So again, done, and I'm going to advance it to where I can go some more. Oops. Doesn't matter where that ends because it comes out the bottom. So now I'm just going to advance the quilt again. I'm telling you guys, this goes so quick. Are they not hearing this off or something? I have no idea. Let's see where my highest one is. Right there. Okay. That's good. Because no one's saying anything. I've asked them questions twice now. Can you guys hear this video? Mm. 
are you guys hearing okay or is my internet having issues sorry I'm just brushing out the quilt so that it lays nice and flat I don't have no bumps or anything in my batting maybe I should type it in or maybe they're just watching so I'm just going to baste right here real quick and obviously I can go back the other way if I wanted to like from one side advance stay on the side and then go to the other because I am using a cotton batting and it's nice and flat but I always go from left to right so oh Lori says I can hear you without any problems hmm. maybe it's just uh maybe everybody's just working and they're busy tonight they're just watching tonight yeah. lurkers I'm just kidding <laughs> Patty's on. Patty says, sound is great. Busy sewing my first mini scrap quilt. Well, how you doing, Patty? Some people just like to listen to my voice. You know that, right? I've been told it several times. <laughs> yep, yep. Tony says she can hear you good. Tony says, good evening. Hi, Tony. Hello. Hi, Carla. Carla says, hello, Tiffany and everyone. Hello. Glad to see you are feeling much better. Uh, not much better at all, but... But she's working on it, because she's working. <laughs> yeah. Kim can hear us. Okay. And they can hear us. Oh, so news update with my, I have to have a, um, a barium swallow. It is a special test where I drink some really absolutely disgusting drinky stuff and it lights up under an x-ray machine and then they test my belly. That's how they found my um, blockages last time in my intestines. So the doctor thinks I do have blockages and he wants the test first to make sure because I have an adhesive um, adhesive intestine disease. So, and I've told you guys this before, my intestines, instead of like moving freely along my abdominal wall, they develop adhesions for some strange reason and then they get stuck. And while all those intestines are stuck, they tangle up, upside down, all around, and then not. And I've had to have surgery in the past to undo it. My last surgery was in 2019, so technically it's only been a year and a half since I've yeah, been fixed. Yeah, it wasn't fixed. that long ago. So my body has actually just gotten worse in that sort, short amount of time. Deborah says it looks and sounds great. Brenda says I can hear you just fine. Darlene says glad to see you're out of bed, Tiffany. Yes. Yes, it's nice plus. to be out of bed. It is a plus. Thank you, Carla. Carla's just praying for you. Thank you. That is very kind. We appreciate that. Let's try right here. Like I said, they're not completely consistent. Some are bigger, some are littler. You can wiggle around this more than twice. Starting to look like smushed roses now. I don't know where I'm going wrong. It's because my wiggling is starting off on the flat side.
says your quilt is so pretty. This is a client quilt for those that are joining in. She made it for donations. She makes donation quilts and... Yep, this whole quilt is being donated. It's really cool. Like I told you, this will be done tonight in my so far 33 minute video. Yep, Tiff is going quick for you guys. Hi, Kathleen. You guys all know I can quilt smaller quilts in one video. I need to fill in right about here. There we go, right there, yep. Okay. Just patting out the batting, which is me just swiping my hand down the quilt and pretty much patting it down, making sure there's no tucks in the batting, because sometimes that happens and I can't control it. Thank you, Cam. Thank you for the reminder. Lisa says, so I took a cue from you and got some daylight bulbs for her sewing space. And she says, oh my golly. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They make a big difference. Like I didn't know what I was, I guess I was blind this whole entire time because everything is much more accurate and brighter. And I don't have to open the window. Well, Although like it really matters if I do or not. Let's put it like this. I'm the stingy thrifty one of the relationship because I'm the one that pays all the bills and does the banking money stuff. So when she wanted to buy new bulbs and we have a million bulbs, I was kind of not happy about it. But guess who went her two packs of bulbs after she replaced them? Because she had a point. Those bulbs are amazing. They make such a difference. I so, recommend yes. it to you guys. Go check your dollar stores or anywhere else for daylight bulbs. I found some on sale in a clearance area at our grocery store, and I bought her a pack, and then I went back and even bought her another pack. Even though she said she didn't need it anymore, I said, well, since they're on clearance and they're on sale, I'm going to go buy. The only thing I don't know about daylight bulbs is that they make them in the little small bulbs, you know, the little small ones. Like some of our ceiling fans in our house have the small bulb. And it's kind of annoying because we have all sorts of big bulbs in this house. But yeah. yeah. Hi, Nancy. Nancy says, I can hear you just fine. I'm really enjoying this video. You make it look so easy. It is. This is the easiest thing you can possibly do with 
quilting, long arm and or sit down. Kim agrees. She says it makes a wonderful difference. Talking about the bulbs. June says my bill got me some, and yes, they are awesome. This might end up being half a row. bulbs and I've been giving away our other bulbs to some of our friends. So now we have a plentiful stock of daylight bulbs. <laughs> Threads get stuck under my quilting. Oh, and I finally ran out of bobbin. It's a good thing I rolled six or seven and I only needed maybe three, two. Huh. Give me two seconds to change it out, and I'm going to show you guys. These very much. No, that's an em that was Here. almost empty. That one is too. Here, use a full no, one. No, it's fine. This one's really full. No, it's fine. It's the same. I just want to show you guys, <clears throat> for those that are new to the long arm and or sit down machines. Here is and Becca showed this the other night too, but I want to make sure that I reiterate on it, just because people have asked. Here, this one right here on the top. This top screw is the tension for your bobbin case. So you can see that. Don't ever touch this bottom one. That is the screw that holds down this whole entire little unit right here. So this one is the top for the tension, for the bottom ten bobbin tension. And what you would do is if tension is off, and I'll show you how to test it right now. If your tension is off, you would barely, barely, with a tiny screwdriver, adjust this. Lucky Lucy, righty tidy. So, and I think I want to purposely mess this up to show you guys because I know how to fix it. So, uh, are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Where's my screwdriver? Do you need a little screwdriver? I can I get you a little one. baby screwdriver. I have one. It's right here. All right. So, first off, your bobbin, see how it comes to this side? It's coming to my right hand. Okay. I want it in my right hand. I'm going to stick it in the hole. I'm going to slide it into this slit right here. Stay focused. I'm going to come up and through that hole up there, and it takes it to the top. A perfect tension is when you put the bobbin in your hand, and you can lift this up, and you can see it spinning, but it doesn't lift out of your hand. You want it to lift up in your hand, but not out of your hand. So it may feel like, oh my God, that's so loose. It is not. It's just lifting up in my hand, but not out of my hand. What happened? You probably died. Yeah, you died. I don't know what's wrong with it. Now, say it was messed up. So we're going to purposely mess this up. So we're going to go way down so I can show you. This, this is way too loose. It, it doesn't even want to stay up in my hand. See, it's just pulling it out. We're gonna snip that real quick because I'm like literally wasting it. And then, so that was um, lefty loosing in it. Now we're gonna righty tighten it and I'm gonna tighten it too much. I know you guys are like, why are you doing that? But I want you to see. So we're gonna stick this in my hand. Again, I'm gonna lift it. See how it's trying to pull out of my hand? See that? It literally is way too tight. See that? It came out of my hand. So we don't want it to where it comes out of our hand. We don't want to lift it up. So I'm going to take my little screwdriver. I'm going to take that down just a little. As soon as I need it, it keeps telling me this. Just say not now. I do, and it keeps popping Justin up. Justin knows the password to that. I don't. Okay. So now I have adjusted it again. It lifts in my hand and spins just right. So that's perfect. Okay. So I'm waiting for it to unfreeze because it froze. So again, it literally lifts up in my hand, 
but does not come out of my hand. Okay. Yeah, it's freezing again. Just like that. So now that I have wasted a ton of thread for no reason, no, I'm just kidding. It was you not no them. reason. I just wanted you guys no to see that is how the tension is adjusted on this. And actually, it still is a tiny bit too tight, so I'm going to adjust it. Well, June Perfect. got her new foot, so now she can start playing with rulers while she's quilting. And then I just reach under and snap it in because the quilt is off the ground, so. Sure, I'll put that Okay. All right, so where did my bobbin run out? It ran out right here, so I'm going to go back a few stitches. I'm going to find the rest of that. Oops, that's not the bobbin one. There we go. And I'm going to tack this down a few stitches ahead of where I was, and then I'm going to by hand follow it down where I was and ended right there. Kim says they put the daylight bulbs in all the fixtures in her car. Lisa got hers at four pack at Waldo World for 12 bucks. She didn't shop around because she was short on time, but she kind of started checking other places. But yes, Lisa, do that because we found them at the dollar store for a buck a bulb. And then I found some in the clearance section at a grocery store. I got a four pack for $3.50. So I bought Tiff a bunch of them. She said she didn't need any more, but I ended up buying her two of those four packs. Can <laughs> I have the flashlight right there, please? Yes, of course. Sorry, guys, I messed with the tension, and I just want to make sure, because I always make sure when I'm done screwing with it, that it is good. And it is perfect. I have a habit of making sure before I keep going or else I end up having to pick out a bazillion things, but I purposely screwed it up just so you guys can see. <laughs> I wanted you to know. All right, where was I? Yeah, perfect. Ooh, you bumped my frame. I'm sorry. While I was doing that. Door opened and. So all I'm doing is creating a little curve and then swapping directions and slowly just waving around like this. And every time I stop inward so that I can throw in a leaf and I'm not putting a vein in it. You guys can if you were to do this. my idea of a rose and obviously I've seen, I've seen this before that's why I'm able to do it a lot of my stuff comes from seeing it and then I can do it maybe there are a couple designs I've not been able to replicate <laughs> I have tried and did not succeed <laughs> Pretty sure they have pantographs and digital designs that do this kind of stuff. Stop that right there, pull that thread out. And this weird thread right there. Wow. 
flower leaf right here. So all you guys are working on stuff, please post it on the Facebook yep. site. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and then go down under the description of any one of my videos and join the Facebook quilting group that I have for all of you to join and see finished pictures of the things I do as well as the things you guys post to inspire me to keep going. Good evening, Ann. There. So I literally have maybe three more passes to go. Annie says hi. Hello. I'm just trying to brush the quilt out real quick. And then I'll be able to take it off the frame and show you guys what it looks like when I'm finished. Hopefully my camera will stay charged the rest of this time. Let me check the battery. Oh good, it's still way good. I can finish this quilt on that much battery. Oh yeah, you're doing good. I always go up and down with the basting because it gives it a couple extra tacks that it wouldn't have, which is the one pass down. I also need to go down this and make sure that it's squared. I have to rub my fingernails across it sometimes because if the seam is pushing a totally different way, it might look like it's uh, bulging. So you guys see how this looks like it's bulging? It's really not. It's because the seam is pushing up. So. It'll quilt out, obviously, but I just like to make sure when I'm doing it. Hi, Bonnie. Bonnie asked, did you get the pictures of some of the things she quilted? Uh, did she email it or Facebook it or what? Because I haven't checked email today at all. I don't know yet. She did not say. Or if it was in the group. I've been on Facebook twice today. Oh, my goodness, Laura. Oh, thank you, Laura. She says, great time watching you. Well, thank you, Laura. I would do the happy dance, but I kind of can't right now. My stomach would probably not like it, and then my client's quilt will have a big mess of... Plus, they couldn't uh, see it anyway. Yuck. <sighs> I can only imagine bouncing around right now with my stomach like this. Oof, that would suck. That is so nice of you, Laura. We appreciate that. Thank but you. know that none of you guys ever have to do anything like that. We do not ask for money. But I appreciate and we thank you all very much. Lisa asks, so you baste as you go, not as you load the quilt? No. I, I baste it to load it, yes. But I also baste as I go on the quilt. Especially if I'm using a polyester batting, I definitely wow, I'm quilted. Yeah, if you base the whole thing first, you'll have bumps and lumps along the way. Bonnie says she posted it to your quilt by Tiff. Oh, my business page? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go look after the video. We'll check it out then, Bonnie. She'll show it to me. She always shows me stuff. So I will get to see it also. So thank you for posting pictures of your work. We always love to see other people's stuff. Here's, oh, nope. Some of the threads just come right out. Some of them don't. Hello, Brenda. Canada. If you've never heard my machine beep, that is because I'm going too fast <laughs> for the stitch regulator. I tend to do that on my way around. Bonnie says, I love the quilt. So pretty. You do good work. Thank you. This is one of her client's quilts. Tim is just quilting it. Another lady put the quilt together. She's donating it. It's an actual donation quilt. 
Although so far she's told me a few times the things were donation quilts and she ended up keeping them and made a different quilt instead. <laughs> well, either way, she's very nice. quite a few times because it like exaggerates it more. Plus it helps fill in the area. my plan for right after because I know they go on for hours but I yes, need, Tiff is going I'm on, on a hunt this. and I'm still going to attempt to get myself she is trying to find her batiks. I need my per batiks, but everybody else ends up getting them and not me they are cheaper than everywhere we were even at Walmart looking and everywhere and anywhere and this week we have to get up to Joanne's we've been putting it off have to get the Joanne so Tiff can get some fabric there. All right. Time to advance it again. Can you move the notch? Oh, yes. Yes, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm doing my job. I was hoping that wasn't going to happen while I was out here. You're fine. It's okay. As long as I don't hear it. I'm going to warn you in advance, but my belly problems uh, causes me to belt, and I'm doing my best not to do it, but it's okay. unfortunately, sometimes you all know it's in, not controllable. <laughs> Just put your hand over your mouth. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. Okay, she has a little bit of crookedness going on right here. You want to get all the way down? No, I guess not. You're right. It'll be another, another pass, but okay. You're almost done. You're doing really good. I'm gonna do I'm the half. Proud of you. I'm gonna do the half pass now. Hey, proud of you. You've done an amazing thank you. job. Thank you. Thank you. You don't have to give me a whatever compliments I every two seconds. Yeah, but you make me feel overwhelmed when you do. You make me feel overwhelmed when you do. Sorry. Well, you were sick and not feeling good all day. I am sick, not feeling good, and I'm, I'm just, just I'm amazed. Doing. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see this, but she's got some bowing right here, and it's because of the piecing. And the only thing I can do is stretch it a little to get this to go, but then she's going to have a crinkle right here, so I'm going to try to just work that in. I use my fingernails to kind of push down on it. I'm just going to work it in. And then it should lay nice. This is the half pass I'm going to do on this one. So I'm just working the fabric in. See? 
right here. Lisa says, ha, I'll fight you for the batiks, too. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's why I never end up getting them, because it goes so quick when anytime they bring up the purples. The purples is, like, everybody's favorite. I don't know why they don't just order 20 times the amount, knowing that that's what everybody likes. <laughs> Bonnie says, I know the feeling because I give all my stuff I'm supposed to sell to my friends and family. All right. I'm going to make this a half a pass now. That way I can. good it doesn't feel good with my thumb up on here but i have no other way to hold this because i'm not a straight hand holder ever get what we want. <laughs> Now I will do a full row the next pass. So I'm just going to advance it enough to where the rest of the quilt is exposed. And then I can do be done. Okay, this side, honey. This is my job. You just make sure it's in my throat space. And it technically is not. Let's go just a little bit more. Here, I'll do that. I'll do that while you roll. I'll get it. I'll get it. There you go. Right there. All right. That's fine. I'm sure I would do it, and I did it. Brush it did out. It no, it comes down here now. Okay. What, your last? No, my last is right here. Oh, it goes by these? Yep. I thought it went by this. No. Hmm. Well, all right, that all wrong. I'm brushing out the okay. cotton, and all I'm going to do now is base the whole entire bottom across this whole entire quilt bottom. And like I said, she had a little bit of um, shifting. I'm just going to straighten it out as I go. Come off of it and now start going this way. And I tend to do a little bit of pulling as I do this when I go across the bottom. That way I have no lifts, folds, bumps, or tucks in the rest of the quilting. Although when it's on cotton batting, it tends to stay pretty darn flat. But I do this anyway. Just stretches it a little. Okay. 
ensures that I have a nice straight edge. You guys can see I'm pushing along the side down here of the machine as well. Um, just to keep out any full wrinkles or tucks, it just pulls it nice and tight so that it keeps everything good. And as you can see, it's going to end at this corner nice and straight. I go beyond it. And there we have it. Nicely basted. And I don't even have to go over that twice. I just come break thread here and start over on the other side and then fill the last of this in. So everything should be nice and straight, no wrinkles or folds. And this will be done after this. Pass. And then we'll pull it off the frame for you guys to see. I heard that, the bobbin. I heard that. Give me two seconds to change the bobbin out to a half wound bobbin. Because I don't need up. a full wound bobbin for the last of this quilt. I'll pick up whatever fell. At least I don't think I do. But we'll see right now if I do or don't. And I check the tension of every single bobbin before I load them. Uh, I guess you need to make it become a habitual habit because your tension can get off um, quite a bit with the, the movement. And Do you need me to buy you more of these bobbin cases? Yeah. Okay. Actually, I do. <laughs> I see that. Do you need that more way bobbins? I can keep every color as possible do around. Do you need more of the metal? No. Okay. I'll buy you some more cases then. No, those were Amazon. Oh, okay. Well, we'll look them up then. All right. Yep. And we'll hook you up. Hold on, let me pull this. Part of your anniversary gift. Off of there. <laughs> uh, I have thread hanging off of me. <laughs> yes. I don't think any quilter can go anywhere without being covered. Especially if you're wearing black. Ugh. Especially if you just got done doing like some kind of thing with a jelly roll. <laughs> That's the worst. I'm wearing black. All I know is I'm always covered in red. I'm always dragging it around the house. Really? 
go from one area to the other so fast. I don't know how to do it slowly. Does that make me horrible because I can't do it slow? I've tried. I just can't go slow. And it's nicely filled in. It's not heavy quilting. It should look really nice. I'm going to, before I remove it off the frame, I'm going to cut off the batting. So you guys are going to watch me do this real quick, what I do, because it rolls easier the opposite way if I go across the bottom like this. Just cutting away the batting only. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. I'm probably blocking the view. We'll come down this way some. I do this often if I have to roll back the other way just to make sure I got everything and then the tension is good before I pull it off the frame because this is a client's quilt. So I do want to make sure that there is no tension issues. I don't want to have to pick when it's off the frame. I'd rather do it while it's on the frame. It saves lots and lots of time that way. So I can roll back and check as go well real quick, and then we'll take it completely off. So you guys are gonna watch this go pretty quick. I just watch, I watch this whole section, and then I also look at the back fabric, which is not even visible in the camera. So <laughs> <laughs> I check the back fabric and I look for any tension issues while I'm rolling, which I don't have any, but. Making sure I'm fully filled in in all the areas throughout the whole entire quilt. That squeak sound almost sounds like when you're sitting in a chair or on a mattress. Yes. Hi, Darcy. All right, we're getting to Darcy the Darcy says hi, y'all. Remember to give him the thumbs up. Yes, all please. All right, so I'm going to pass this to Scott now, and he can just hold this. Uh, am I holding the phone? Yeah, just around? hold the phone and get rid of that. And I am going to move this out of the way. And it doesn't like to stay on its own, so I actually have to tie it. <laughs> unpin. You and just want me to show is you unpinning? It's quite a disaster, so the finished quilt will be held up somehow, some way carefully in here. We can have CJ and Justin come out, help hold it up real quick. Oh, no, it's fine. I'm you just... want to do that? No. Okay, then do you want me to hold it and you hold the camera? No. How about that? No. I just meant because in a second it's gonna, the garage is too messy for me to hold it up perfectly. Okay. Notice it's all yellow pins. <laughs> yes, I see that. Did you do that on purpose? Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say there's no way I you did that by accident. Red butterflies on the top and red butterflies on the bottom. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be pulled just a little extra because. Hi, Sue Ann. Sue Ann says hi. Look at that, I was able to quilt a whole entire quilt while on the video with you guys. So you can see how quick you can do this on a long arm. Like I know some of you can't afford it, but when you finally can, this is how much quicker the process goes, even for just a light to medium quilting, you know? I would say light quilting on a quilt like be stitch in a ditch, but this is more medium to me. All right. Here, I'm going to show them the back quick as you tear it off. I'm going to come over here. Why don't you let me hold it up? It's fine. And you do the... I'd rather have you hold the camera. I don't like... Come over here. Perfect. I don't like holding the camera. 
Can you see it? The whole thing? That's my client's quilt. Uh, not if I come over there. I can't. No, I have to stay over here where I was. I don't know why you had me come over there. Our garage is a disaster. It just says 8,000 empty boxes because you like to save all the boxes. And here's what the back looks like. I'm going to just lay it over the frame so that you can see what the quilting looks like on it. I guess the back is pretty. So you, you can, can see, see the flowers on it very good. It's equally spaced out. You guys see all those flowers? Equally spaced out. They look like roses or flowers. Darcy says of that. Some beautiful. sort. It's that easy. Even when you're not feeling good with a stomach ache. <laughs> hmm. Took you an hour. That's it. Kim says that's awesome. So that's that. All done. Do you want to take that? Yes, I'm going to take it now. Please. Okay. June says awesome. All right. Client quilt done. And just because you guys like to know about this kind of stuff, let's see how many stitches are in this quilt and note it in my book before I reset the system. And now I don't have anything to actually set you on. <laughs> I'm going to find my page. If you don't know what it is, my book is Lori a book looks great. that I write down. I physically just write down the date, the Laura, name of the sorry, quilt, Laura. the colors in the quilt, the color of the thread I used, how long the quilt took me, the amount of stitches, and the size. Now, I can tell you right now, I don't remember the size, but I can tell you stitches. It has, ah, man, that screen went out, but it took me 40 minutes and 25 seconds of the screen running. So I'm just going to put 40 minutes. Oh, what screen? We can't go back to it? No, I have to go to back screen for the number. Oh. Okay. My my front screen, for some strange reason, won't go back to the stitch, um, the stitches. So I have to come back to this screen. This quilt has 46,670 stitches. See that? So just this quilt alone, 46, 6, 7, 6. 46, 6, 7, 6. So that's, that's a low number compared to my normal. I mean, the last quilt that I did for her was smaller, and it had 76,000 stitches. What's today's date? The 30th, I believe. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. It's 130, 21. So I write that it's a client quilt. Darcy says that Teach is what tape measures are for. Yes. <laughs> I'll measure it in a minute. I have it written down, all her information in the house. Peach thread and Hi, it Suman. is three color quilt. Suman says it's good to see you. See you all. And it is peachy and turquoise. And that's all I do. So I write it in my book. It's journaled down except for the measurement of it. And that's it. So. Shirley says, hi, <clears throat> Tiff. Just dropping in for a minute. Hard to hold the phone. Hi, Shirley. Yeah, it's, it's hard to hold this thing. Anyway, so that's that. It's done. Woohoo. I'm finished. Anyways, I'm thanking you all for watching and joining me and disappearing from So Yeah, just so you can hang out with me for an hour <laughs> while I quilt this. Like I said, this can be done on any machine. In the beginning of the video, if you're just joining in the beginning of the video, I showed you on paper what I'm doing. So you can do it anywhere, anyhow. It's spaced out. I wiggled around to get where I was going and made roses or flowers, or whatever you want to call it, with a leaf. And it quite simple. Garcia so. says, that is that. You write everything down. This bird yep. is pretty. Hi, Phyllis. From the yes, society. I write everything down or else I won't remember because my machine itself has... Okay, let's see if I can read this number correctly. 8,445,000. No, 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 no. One, two, three, one, two, three. 84,453,973. Okay. Yeah, that is how many stitches are on my machine. So for all of you freaking out that you just hit 1 million, wait till you're at 84 million stitches. <laughs> that just goes to show you I quilt a lot. <laughs> 
Anyways, thank you guys for hanging out. I'm going over to So Yeah so that I can attempt to buy some fabric. And I will see you guys my next video. Good Bye. night, everyone. Don't see forget you again tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video, and don't hate the crack on my ceiling.